Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing an empties video. I have a ton of stuff. I did not realize how much stuff I had until I started pulling it out and putting it into categories. I have a ton of sample stuff that I went through this month, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started and share my reviews of these products with you. I'm going to go ahead and start with body products first because they're right here on the table in front of me and then go from there. The first thing that I have here is the Bath & Body Works Twilight Woods 24 Hour Moisture Ultra Shea Body Cream. This I got from a co-worker as a Christmas present and I love the scent of it. It was very musky but still feminine. I don't know. I really love the smell of it and it was super, super moisturizing. I'd never tried these lotions from Bath & Body Works before. I'd only tried the basic ones that were not very moisturizing. This one was fantastic. I would definitely go back and repurchase more of these and this scent is really, really good. I'd never smelled this one before. So this was a win in my book. I would definitely repurchase this. Also a win is the Soap & Glory Hand Food. This is fantastic. I mentioned this in my January favorites, I think. Um, it is one of my all-time favorite hand creams. It soaks in super fast. It makes your hands really soft and it is fantastic. I have so many back stocks of these because I bought a ton of these. There was an HSN sale on Soap & Glory stuff and I bought a bunch of it and it's also on sale on Sephora right now so I might actually go buy more even though I have more than I will probably need for a while but this stuff is so good I love it. Another Soap & Glory product that I am obsessed with is the Righteous Butter and this is a body butter. This was so good. It smells really good. It is super super moisturizing and it makes my skin feel great for like a long time. It's not just like, oh, okay, it feels good for a couple hours. My skin feels silky smooth for an entire day. This is amazing. I used up a shave gel that I was not super impressed with. This is a Skintimate Skin Therapy Dry Skin Shave Gel. Um, I bought a two-pack of this because it was on sale at Target, and I don't really like it all that much. I feel like it takes a lot of work to make it lather up correctly, and then it rinses off really easily with water if I'm in the shower. I have another one of these to use and then I'm going to go back to my conditioner, cheap like suave conditioner because it works better than this I think. I used up a Dorco 3 plus 3 razor blade. They look like this. I've talked about these in the past. They are fantastic. I love the Dorco razors and blades because they're super cheap and they work just as well as like the Chic or the um, Venus ones. I think they work just as well and I got 24 blades I think for like $24. They are so good and so cheap definitely look into them. I will leave a referral link down below which will get you I think either 15 or 20 percent off and then I get like a three percent kickback if you guys buy off of there but these are super super good. I love these. I used up three perfume samples. The first one is the Live in Love Oscar de la Renta perfume. This one was okay. I think it was more of a florally type scent. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. So I used it up, but I wouldn't buy a full size of it. The next one is the Harvey Prince Yogini perfume sample. Didn't love it. I got this in a birch box. It was okay. It was another one. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it, but I used it up. I don't even really remember for sure what it smells like. I just remember being indifferent towards it. One that I actually really liked was the Hello by Harvey Prince. This one I think smelled similar to the um, Justin Bieber Someday perfume, and I really, really liked this one. I just bought a Harvey Prince perfume um, in Skinny Chic that I really, really like that's different from most of mine. But this one was really good. I like the Justin Bieber one just as well, so I think I could probably find that one on sale, but this one was pretty good too. The last body product that I have is the Fortune Cookie Soap Wonderland It's Only a Dream Whipped Cream. This one, I hated the smell at first. It was super, super florally, like rose scented, um, but I love their whipped cream, so I kind of forced myself to use it up. I did start to like the scent more as I went through it, but this is not one that I would purchase on a regular basis. The whipped creams are really good, but not this scent. Next up are makeup products. So the first thing that I have is an EOS lip balm that is actually not used up. It's got a little bit of a dent to it. It's flattened out a little bit, but it smells super, super gross. I just, I think it's gone bad and it smells nasty, so I'm just going to get rid of that. I used up a chapstick. I think this was one of their like gingerbread ones or something like that. It was like a sum or a Christmas collection one. Um, the wrapping fell off of it, obviously, but this was pretty good. The chapsticks itself, they're not super moisturizing, they're not good, they're not bad, they're just okay. So I have a couple in my collection that my fiancé has bought, and then he gave me the spares that he didn't want. So I'm just using them up at night and in the morning, but they're not fantastic. I used up two primers, so I have the L'Oreal Youth Co. Texture Perfector Pore Vanisher. This was okay, I didn't really like it all that much, and I know it's like $20 or something like that, even though it's drugstore. And I don't think it's that good. I don't notice a huge difference in my pores when I use it. I just, I wouldn't repurchase this again. I also have the Tarte BB Tinted Treatment 12 Hour Primer. This I've mentioned before. I use this up in my Finish 7 by Spring. Um, this I liked quite a bit. I have mine in Fair though, and I need one in Light because Fair is too light for me. 
it works pretty well to layer this under a BB cream and I really like the effect that gives. Obviously it doesn't work for me in the summer when my skin is a lot more oily. It works okay if I use this with BB creams in the winter, um, but I probably don't need to purchase this anytime soon, but I might think about repurchasing this at some point. I have a BB cream that I got from a Birch Box or a CC cream I guess. This is the Super Goop CC Cream Daily Correct. This one was in light to medium so it's supposed to be self adjusting. I really liked the coverage of this. I thought it was really, really nice. It was a little bit too dark for me, um, but I really liked the coverage and it wore pretty well for being a CC cream. I was surprised by how well it wore and plus it has SPF 35, which is always great, but I really like the sample and this sample actually went a really, really long way for the size of it. Like it's tiny, but it went super long. So if I got a full size of this, it would last for quite a while and I might look into that at some point. I really, really liked this. I have a foundation type thing I used up. This was also in my finished 7 by Spring. This was the Signature Club A something about a trio, um, but it had like foundations at the bottom and there's a concealer at the top. And I didn't use up the concealer. The concealer's gone to a gross con consistency that I'm not going to use. But um, I did like this as a concealer, and I used it as a foundation a long, long time ago. And then um, I kind of stopped using it for that, so I figured I'd just finish it up. I don't know that I would ever repurchase this. I think the packaging is kind of big and bulky and kind of a pain. Um, but it did work pretty well for coverage. I used up the Sonia Kashuk Hidden Agenda Concealer Palette. This I... Um, this I used up the concealer in the lightest color a long time ago and then I had to work really hard to use up these two concealers. There was like more of a green tone concealer and a darker concealer that I layered under foundations to use them up and then the powder I didn't really like all that much. There's powder down here. I used it to set my under eyes. I wasn't super impressed with it. I felt like it made my under eyes look kind of cakey but I didn't want any of this stuff to go to waste so this was okay. I don't think I would repurchase it because I didn't own, I didn't really like a lot of the stuff in it. I really only liked the one concealer, so um, I probably wouldn't go back and purchase this. I used up a sample of the Makeup Forever HD Foundation in 115, and honestly, a lot of people rave about this, and I wanted a sample of it to see if maybe I wanted something like this for my wedding makeup, but I didn't like it as much as I expected to. I honestly, I love this L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation a lot better than this one, so I think this is going to be my wedding foundation, I'm pretty sure. Um, and this one just wasn't as good as I expected it to be. I have a review and first impression of it that I'll link down below, but this one was just okay to me. I don't think I want to go by the full size of it, honestly. I have two lip glosses that I used up in my Finish 7 by Spring. I have the Lip Junkie in Naked and the Lip Junkie in Midnight Cowboy. Both of these were just okay. They are more sticky, I think, and this one is a little bit more plumping. They say that they're supposed to cool and plump. I think this one was more plumping than this one, but um, both of them were very natural colors. They were fine. They worked pretty well for layering, but um, I don't think they even make these anymore, honestly, so it's not like it matters. I couldn't repurchase this anyway, but they're just okay to me. I don't like these lip glosses that much. I also used up two of the Urban Decay Primer Potion samples that I had. I used up the anti-aging one and the Sin one. I liked the anti-aging one a lot better than the Sin one. The Sin one is a sparkly one, so I could only use it on my lid. I didn't want to take it all the way up to my eyebrow. This one I could take all the way up to my eyebrow, so it would prime all my shadows in between. I like both of them okay. I have a ton of shadow primer samples and things like that in my collection right now, so I don't need to buy any of these anytime soon. Um, and there's honestly other ones that I like a lot better than these. I used up a little concealer pencil from Hard Candy. This came with my Glamifosh concealer oh, that I had a long time ago. I got rid of that concealer, but I still had the pencil floating around. And I actually liked the pencil a lot more than I thought I would. I didn't think I would like it all that much, but it was really pretty good. Um, I would look into purchasing this by itself, honestly. It was fast and easy, and I liked it a lot. I have an eyebrow pencil that I used up. You guys have probably seen this a ton of times if you watch my channel a lot. This is the YBF Automatic Eyebrow Pencil in Universal Taupe. This is my absolute favorite pencil. It's amazing. It does a nice job of filling in my brows that look nice and natural and not too overdone. I already repurchased another set of these because they're so good. And then a random another dried out one. I have the Victoria Jackson Mascara. This came in a kit that my mom got me and I kind of forgot it was in there and now it is all clumpy and dried out and not usable. So I'm just going to get rid of that. A couple of random beauty type products that I have. I found this old kabuki brush that I had. This was an Avon one. It used to have a black outside that broke off. I never reached for this. It's kind of rough and I figured I might as well just throw that away because I don't reach for it ever anymore. I also got rid of two beauty blenders. I've had these for a very, very long time, probably at least two years, and they've been sitting around for a while. I don't reach for them anymore. I just got a Jouer set not too long ago that had a new one in it, so I figured that I would get rid of these because I've had them for so long and they're probably gross and infected with lots of 
things so meh but i'm getting rid of an old urban decay sharpener that i had it's been falling apart it doesn't like stay together anymore and i got a new one in my last urban decay set that i got of eyeliner pencils so this one's going in the trash so that it stops falling apart and spreading the stuff all over my desk and then in here i also had a ring that i got from wantable a while back um, it's an arrow ring that I really, really liked, but it's tarnished really badly. It's broken. Like, at one point, I was able to do this to it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Like, it's it's broken and busted. I really liked this ring, but I'm sad that it wasn't very high quality and how quickly it fell apart, basically. So if you guys have any suggestions on rings like this, let me know, because I loved this ring. I thought the style of it was super, super cute. It just was looking pretty nasty already, and I got it in October, I think. All right, next up, I have hair products. So... I dyed my hair earlier this week, maybe Tuesday, with the John Frieda Dark Red Brown Precision Foam Color. This I really, really like. I talked about this in my last empties video too. I had a different color that I really liked, but these were, um, if you spend so much on John Frieda at CVS, you got $5 extra care bucks, and plus if you buy two of these, you got $1 off of each of them, so... I figured I might as well, and I really like the color. I like the way this applies, so it's got like a reddish tint to it. I think I would go back to this color again, and I really love the foaming stuff. So this stuff is actually really, really good. It's a little bit more expensive, but I like it a lot. In one of my birch boxes, I got a Manu shampoo from Divines, Divines, and then also a Manu hair serum. Both of these are supposed to be for color-treated hair. This sample lasted a surprisingly long time, and I liked it quite a bit. I don't know that I would go to the effort of purchasing it. I really like my Dove shampoos. I'm good to go with those. Um, but it was good for when I had it. I liked it. I just don't know that I would go to the effort of purchasing a full size. The serum, same thing. It was okay. I liked it, but... It wasn't anything, you know, mind-blowing or anything like that. Same thing here. I used up a Be Kind shampoo with honey and organic red clover extracts. Again, it was fine. It worked okay. It wasn't anything mind-blowing. I don't think I'd buy the full size because I like my drugstore stuff just as well. And then I had a surprisingly good Garnier Fructis Hydra Recharge 1 Minute Moisture Replenish Treatment. This came with a hair dye that I had. And I actually liked this a lot. Um... It made my hair feel really soft and it was awesome. So this I might actually look into purchasing the full size because I was surprised by how good this was. On to face products. And I have a ton of stuff in the face product category this month. So the first thing I have is the Queen Helene Mint Julep Mask. This is a really good mask for a super cheap price. It does a really nice job of pulling out imperfections and helping clear up acne and things like that. Um, they're super, super cheap. I think I got like two of these big things for $5 or something like that and it works super well for the price that it is. So I would definitely recommend this. I'm definitely going to go back and repurchase it at some point. I need to go through some of my other masks first, though. The other mask that I actually really enjoyed a lot was the Bosha Luminizing Black Mask. This I got in a set last spring sometime, I think. At first when I started using it, I hated it because it was such a pain to peel off, but I realized that you have to go pretty heavy with it. It needs to be thick enough that you can easily peel it off. So once I discovered that, I really, really liked it. It makes my skin feel really soft. I feel like it does do a good job of making it look brighter, um, and I liked it a lot. So once I realized that little trick there, I really, really enjoyed it. So this is something I might consider purchasing in the future. I don't need it right now, but at some point in the future, I would definitely consider it. I used up some of my makeup cleansing towelette things. This is the Up and Up Cleansing Towelette Makeup Remover. I've talked about these a bunch of times. They are super cheap. They work really well. They're usually on cartwheel. Um, and the only thing they don't take off is my eye makeup, but honestly, most wipes don't. So that's nothing surprising. I tried out the CVS Deep Pore Cleansing Strips. Um, these are comparable to the Biore Pore Strips. I thought that these were cheaper. Why not try them out? These were terrible. These did not work very well at all. I would never go back to repurchasing these. Biore are the way to go. I've also heard that the up and up ones are not very good, so I don't know. I might as well just go with the Biore ones since I know those are good and I like them. Why waste $5 on ones that are crap? All right, eye creams. First thing I have is the Origins Ginseng Eye Cream. This is the one that is supposed to have like caffeine in it and um, it's pink toned. I bought this because a lot of people had recommended it and I wasn't really all that impressed with it. It was like 30 some dollars. And I don't think it did that much, so I would definitely not repurchase this one. There are other ones that I like a lot better and that are slightly cheaper. And yeah, I was kind of disappointed that this one was not as good as I expected it to be. I also used up the Benefit It's Potent Eye Cream. This one's okay. I'm not super wowed by it. It feels nice, but I don't know that it makes a huge difference to my under eye area. So again, wouldn't repurchase this. I have a bunch of DHC samples because I get the DHC catalog and each one comes with four samples. So I used up two of the DHC concentrated eye cream moisturizers. 
both of these had kind of like a greasy gritty texture it was really weird um, I don't know if it was just the sample was not still very good or what the deal was but I didn't like it that much I feel like it moisturized really well but it felt greasy and gritty and was really odd so I wouldn't purchase this based off of these two samples I also used up a DHC eye bright sample and that was okay that one was better than the other ones were were it's more of a gel consistency um, and it felt really nice and cooling I don't know it didn't make as much of a difference as I would like so Based on all those samples, I wouldn't repurchase any of those. I also used up a Fresh Rose Hydrating Eye Gel Cream. I honestly don't remember this, so it couldn't have been that good because I can't remember. So it didn't leave an impression, so probably wouldn't repurchase it. I have a bunch of samples here that I just wasn't super impressed by. There wasn't a huge difference, so I'll just kind of lump those all together. The Lancope Advanced Genifique Concentrate, or Youth Reactivating Concentrate, same thing. It was okay. I didn't notice any huge amazing difference that would make me want to jump out and purchase this, especially because Lancome is super expensive. The Way East White Lotus Defining Moment Correcting and Finishing Serum. Same thing. Didn't notice any huge difference. Probably wouldn't repurchase. The Algenist Concentrated Reconstructing Serum. Didn't notice anything amazing. Serums and samples like this, you can't notice that big of a difference, so wouldn't repurchase it, wasn't amazed. I have two of the DHC Velvet Skin Coat Makeup Primers. These were okay. I feel like they made my makeup a little bit more sticky, honestly. Um, like, or it's not sticky, more greasy. It didn't stay on my face as well, I don't think, when I used this, but it did do a nice job of filling in my pores. I do have one more sample of this to use up right now. I'm sure I'll get another one by the time I use that one up. Um, but these were just okay. I don't know that they are my, like, new favorite primer or anything like that. I used up a DHC deep cleansing oil. This was okay. I've heard a lot of really good things about this. I use coconut oil as an alternative to this type of thing and that works fine. Although this one rinses off a lot easier. So there's that advantage to it. But it's like 30 some dollars in coconut oil I already have. So I don't know that I would run out and purchase this. I have a DHC, I think it's like deep night moisture or something like that. That was pretty good. I actually liked this a lot. Um, this was probably my favorite of the DHC samples that I've tried out. So um, at some point I might look into purchasing that. I have enough moisturizers for right now. I don't have to worry about it. I have a proactive extra strength formula treatment. This I talk about all the time. Um, proactive is like my holy grail face care products because my skin breaks out really, really badly if I don't use it. So I have more of these already. Sorry if camera shifted. My card got full. So I'm going to finish up. Um, I have two cleansers here. I have the Murad AHA and BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. This I liked quite a bit, but it wasn't as exfoliating as I would have liked it to be. Um, I would like a little harsher granules, I guess, but it was okay. I might look into more of the Murad products at some point, but I don't need any more right now. I also used up the First Aid Beauty Skin Rescue Deep Cleanser with Red Clay. This was okay. I wasn't absolutely in love with it. I don't know that I did anything amazing for my skin. Um, if I got another sample of it, I would definitely use it up, but it wasn't anything that made me want to rush out and purchase a full size of it. Last two face products, I used up the Josie Marin Argon Oil. This I had had for a while. I used it when my skin was a lot drier, and I used it just as a moisturizing, um, just like as my moisturizer, I guess. It was alright. I don't know that it was anything amazing. I don't really like oils that much. Um, they're okay, but I don't think they're the best for my skin, so I have a Tarte one that I'm trying to use up too, and I just, I don't like oils that much. I also used up one of my uh, Clarisonic brush heads. This is the one for acne, um, so I always bounce back and forth between this one and my deep pore cleansing ones. I always purchase them in the sets of four if I can from either Ulta or Sephora because they're so much cheaper that way, and I usually try to do that when Sephora has a big cash back or Ulta has a big cash back deal, but um, I really like these and the deep pore cleansing ones. I jump back and forth between them. My last products are kind of the random E products that don't fit anywhere. I have the Bath & Body Works Crisp Morning Air Hand Soap. This I really, really liked. I this one had a nice fall scent, but it wasn't overpowering and it wasn't a lot of the ones like um, the sweet scents that I tend to get that my fiance hates. This was not one of those, so I really like the scent of this one. If this one comes out again next year, I would look into purchasing this one because it was just a natural one that didn't stick around and wasn't too overpowering. I used up four different scent wax cubes, so I used up two of the Sensational Zen ones. These come from Target. These are one of my favorite scents. It's very fresh and clean. Um, my fiance always loved these and I kind of got into them after he really started to like them. I think they're really good. Um, 
for the price, I think these are like $2.75 or something like that, I would definitely, definitely recommend these. They are super, super good for the price. Along that line, I also get these from Walmart. These are the Better Homes and Gardens Tranquil Garden Spa Scented Wax Cubes. These come in a lot bigger size. I think these are slightly more expensive, but they are so good. These are only like $5 or something like that, but they smell really good. This one has a very sweet but fresh scent at the same time. This scent just makes me really happy. Um, I just mentioned this in my favorites that I filmed. So these are really good. If you haven't checked these out before, I would highly recommend them because I like these better actually than like the actual Scentsy ones. The last thing that I have is the Scentsy Central Park Praline scent. And this one I had for a really long time, so I was just trying to use it up. This one is a very sweet scent. I don't know. I used it in the kitchen. It wasn't my absolute favorite or anything like that, but it was okay enough. Probably wouldn't repurchase that. I honestly don't purchase Scentsy scents anymore because I found the Better Homes and Garden ones and they work just as well. The last thing in my empties video for today is the Out the Door Top Coat. This is a cheaper one. This is like five something, I think. The Sesh Beat ones get really sticky and hard like halfway through and they don't really work anymore, like they're too goopy to use. This one, I made it all the way down to here, and now it's hard to get me, for me to get the polish out, and it is getting a little bit thick and chunky, but this is most of the bottle, and this has lasted me a really long time. I'm definitely gonna go out and repurchase this today so that I can actually have a good manicure. I would highly recommend this if you're looking for a good top coat. This one's cheap, and it works really, really well, and it lasts most of the bottle without going too goopy and unusable. Alright, so that is it for my empties video for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any empty products that you finished up that you either loved or hated, I would love to see that in the comments below. I feel like I have been doing such a better job of using up products recently and getting through a lot of my samples, so my empties videos might be a little bit longer as I'm using more stuff up, but I hope you guys still like them. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.